Veronica Coyar, a junior at the University of Arizona, works two jobs to pay for her school. One is at the campus frozen yogurt shop. I definitely like need to have like my 48 hours a week in order to like make sure I pay for my school, also pay for like my books and anything that I need, school supplies. That leaves little time to focus on her goal of getting a dual degree in psychology and criminal justice. When I get home like at 11 o'clock, I just start doing homework all the way till 2 o'clock in the morning. And then sometimes I need to like wake up early still so I can finish like the rest of it. Senior Vice President of Student Affairs and Enrollment Management, Melissa Vito, says the U.A. supports Governor Ducey's decision given the state of the economy, but does hope to avoid raising tuition. We need to protect the things that are priorities. Research is really important here. Um, the health sciences area is an important piece. And so, so we're trying to look at how we would protect the things that are most important and, um, and be strategic in where we take, where we take cuts. Many others, like former senator and retired Arizona Board of Regents member Dennis DeConcini, feel the governor's proposal is a direct violation of the Arizona Constitution that says education should be as close to free as possible. Education is the foundation of this country, and I don't think they are free as possible. It's outrageous that, our, that your tuition is over $10,000. Outrageous for a public university. Working two jobs, just trying to like get by like the minimum and be able to still like be a full-time student. ABOR members have discussed a lawsuit against the legislature for violation of the state constitution, but they do hope that a compromise can be found for a reasonable budget cut to education. Meanwhile, thousands of students are waiting to see how they will be affected. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Molly Baker.